Chancellor Hammond announced his first ever autumn budget today at half 12. My name's Hannah Mondrell and I'm the editor-in-chief of money.co.uk and here are the budget biggies that you need to know about. The, the change that will impact most of us is the Chancellor's plans to increase the amount we can earn before we pay tax from next April. For basic rate taxpayers, the personal allowance is going up to £11,850 and for higher rate taxpayers, it's increasing to £46,350, which should mean you get to take home more of your pay at the end of the month. It's not the sexiest change ever, but it is the one that will have the biggest impact on most of our bottom lines. The Chancellor's big announcement today was on stamp duty for first-time buyers. If you're looking to buy your first property, you won't have to pay stamp duty if the house you're buying is under £300,000. If you live in a high cost area, you won't lose out because the Chancellor has said you can use this discount on stamp duty on properties up to £500,000 and you won't pay a penny in stamp duty on the first £300,000 of the property that you're buying. The Chancellor also announced plans to freeze fuel duty so you won't pay any more at the pumps and he's also looking to roll out more electric charge points for car electric cars across the UK. There is going to be a change to vehicle road tax for people that drive diesel cars from next April that could mean you pay more if you've got one of the most polluting older diesel vehicles. National minimum living wage is going up to £7.83 an hour from next April, which is great news for many people who are struggling to make ends meet. If you do get the national minimum living wage at the moment, make sure your boss knows about the increase so that you make sure you get it in your pocket. Tobacco tax is going up, so if you're a smoker, that will mean you pay slightly more for the cost of a pack of cigarettes. Alcohol duty isn't going up though for everything but the cheapest alcohol and the likes of white cider. So that means you won't pay any more for the cost of a bottle of whiskey or, or a bottle of wine, uh, whatever your tipple is. Air passenger duties being frozen for short haul flights and also economy flights. If you've got a private jet, you will find yourself paying slightly more though, as you will if you, you fly up a car class. There are lots more changes to things like incentives for home builders, uh, cheaper tra train travel for under 30s and also incentives to encourage more people to get into the tech and construction industries. Check out our guide to find out more and find out how you may be affected.